It's a boy named Bonanza. I've gone boy named Wild today. I actually do like the boy named Wild. <laughs> I have over 100 boy names for you. I felt that I would start 2024 with a boom of tons and tons of names. I started to try themes, then I was like, I'm just going to give you them all. Quick fire. So not many stats and the meanings, but just give you my opinion on them because I think that is a great way of just listening to a whole bunch. Then let me know which ones you list because out of your list, your short list, you'll really get an idea of what kind of style you like, what kind of sounds you like, and it will really help you when it comes to naming your baby boy real or imaginary no judgment here <laughs> uh, let me know actually what is the rarest most unique boy name you've ever ever heard i would love that list in the comment section because as i was compiling this list there are some wild cards and there are some traditional because i think we actually tend to go much more traditional for our boys um well i know we do i can see that all over when people are trying to pick they're like i don't want it to be too out there we're a bit braver with our girls so let's go quick fire over a hundred boy names. Can I do it? Can I not be chatty? Let's give it a go. <laughs> okay, so I started off with one syllable boy names because I think these work so nicely as a first name, but also these could be really unique middle spots as well for your boys. So I have Sky. I know it's a controversial marmite one, whether it's for boy or girl, but I absolutely love it. I love Sky in Mamma Mia, and I think it is such a trendy name for boys. Seth, another really great name. Ned, so a nickname for an Edward is Ned, and I just think it was so trendy by itself. I knew a little boy called Ned, and I just always thought how cool he was. Moss, a really unique nature name, or Bo, which is much more common now, right up there in our top 100, but a beautiful, beautiful name. Jude really cool we've still got the beatles vibe going for it brett we don't hear brett very often it's really lovely and it's named after the breton stripes uh, so it's quite quite trendy heath i really love how about the name rain so it's an unusual one i know but you can spell it either r-e-i-g-n or rain as in the weather rain but i just really like it and i see it on a lot of name lists at the moment ted is a classic again nickname vintage for first name for boys so that's a funny order blythe meaning happiness is so cool very very romantic mac i really like mac and it hasn't really come back yet but we are seeing obviously like Mackenzie. we're seeing a lot of um Maverick. I see Maverick on a lot of lists. And Maverick with the nickname Mac could be really, really cool. Nate, short for Nathan, I always think works so trendy as a solo name. The name Joe, we don't hear it very much. Not on many lists, but I actually started crushing on it. I thought it's actually really, really simple and timeless and cool. Joe, just everyone likes somebody called Joe, don't they? And the last one is the name Tom, similar. Don't hear it so often, but it's actually a super, super cool one syllable name. Could work really cool in the middle as well. So, O sounds. O sounds are so popular for our boys. We have Noah at number one in the UK and Oliver at number two. And all those names with O are just trending, flying through the charts. And I think it's because it leads so beautifully onto most surnames when it ends or starts with an O. It's really strong and solid and looks good on paper. Let's not forget. How about the name Kitto? <laughs> I love the name Kitto. It's a Cornish name. It's so trendy. It's not barely used at the moment. So a real unique gem. Boaz, the same. B-O-A-Z. It is a Hebrew name. So if you do love Noah, but you think it's just been pinched, you could go with Boaz. It's again, or if you like Bo, but you feel it's a little bit Oh, I've heard it a lot of times. Boaz is not too bad. And I actually think it is so dead trendy. Otto, one of our fastest rising boy names. So cool with the sort of spelling it frontwards and backwards. Can't remember what that's called. Roscoe, meaning deer forest, I think is really cool. Always loved it. Koa, really lovely. Marlo, really cool surname as first name with that strong O. Hugo, much more traditional but a really, really cool name. I loved Hugo and I was gonna give my baby the nickname Huggy um, if I'd had a boy. Shiloh, another boy, I have got two. Shiloh, I love this name so, so much. Gender neutral gem, but I think it's so dead trendy for a little boy. Cosmo, exactly the same. I know some people think it's like a dog's name. <laughs> Cosmo, I just think it is so cool. Loxley, real crush on this name with the X as well. And I do have some more X names coming up later on with a high Scrabble letter. But it's a surname as first name. It's also a place name. It was actually the forest where Robin Hood lived. If you're a Robin Hood mega fan, then you could go with Loxley, but I just love the way it sounds. Orlando, again, I love it. We have a granddad, Roland, and I didn't realise that Orlando is actually a form of Roland, or I would have really, really thought about going with it. Devon, love the name Devon. think it's so trendy for boy or girl. Jonah, a really lovely one. This was on my list. It's kind of that perfect thing of it not being too 
trendy but not being too traditional either it's got a really good mix and then the name sunny which i love absolutely adore the new romantics so this is this kind of new trend around boy names that are much more whimsical much more romantic we love to romanticize our lives at the moment and i think it's really lovely to bring that into our boy names so i have evander such a cool name absolutely love it casimir which is really cool it actually means destroyer of peace but I can take that in a positive way. Doesn't stand for the status quo. Does a Casimir. Emerson. I think this is so romantic. Really, really lovely with the longer names here. Forest. I think Forest is a really romantic boy name. I think it's shredding off its Forest Gump vibes. How annoying that that just ruined that name for so long. Um, I love it. I get such an outdoorsy, playful vibe from it for a little boy. Reuben. Quite traditional, but really lovely. I think it is really romantic. Gulliver. Would you go with Gulliver? Does it sound too out there for you? Sawyer. This one's really interesting. S-A-W-Y-E-R. Sawyer. I always really, really liked it. I'm sure there was a character in Lost called Sawyer and it really, really boomed. But it is holding its own because it's soft and gentle and romantic and outdoorsy. But it's also got that surname as first name vibe. So it sounds quite strong. Um, so it really, really works for a lot of couples. Darwin, I think is so romantic. means dear friend. Love, love, love it. Rafferty, again, quite a classic. It's been around for quite a long time, but always hits a really nameless for a couple who are looking for something a little bit quirky and more playful. Often for like a second or third, it pairs really well with some more traditional ones like a Liam and a Rafferty or an Oliver and a Rafferty. It really, really edges it out a little bit. And then the name Elwood, which I always have really liked. I love the nickname Woody, but I feel Elwood has got a bit more of that um, romantic side to it. Mark Owen has a little kid called Elwood, if that uh, sways you, would me. Um, vintage gold, some vintage gold names, gold. Um, so these are names that are coming back into fashion and a lot of them are nicknames, vintage nicknames as first name. It's a trend that's going nowhere for 2024. You could be brave and go with Herbie. I love the name Herbie so, so much. The name Casper, we're hearing it so much more now. It was a really unique name. This was on my boy name list um, and it's really coming back, particularly with the K. It's got that real Scandi vibe going for it and it's just, again, like forest. It doesn't have so many negative associations anymore. Barnaby, a great vintage name that should be coming back. Wilbur, I absolutely love the name Wilbur as well. Lenny, I'm seeing on a lot more name lists now as an alternative to a lot of these nicknames as first names. It's a bit rarer. Arthur, quite popular now, right near the top of our charts, but a really cool name. And if we're not in the UK, um, it's a really great one. And I think Art is such a trendy nickname. August, getting royal stamps of approval at the moment, really popular, but it is a vintage name. You can go with Augie or Gus as a nickname, so it's a really good one. Ernie, are we ready to bring back Ernie? I think we are. I think we are. I know a Bernie, I don't know an Ernie, but I think it should come back. Vinny, a cool one. Amos, a very trendy one. Edwin, which I really, really like. Again, I think it's, if, if you like Edward, or you've got Harry, Edward, George, all of those types of names on your list, but you're thinking, are they overused? Edwin is that little bit different, and the same as Wilfred as well. I feel like Wilfred is a little bit different. Wilf is such a cool nickname um, as well, and it gets to, to a one-syllable name as well, Wilfred. Uh, love. Trendy now. Trendy now category. <laughs> I've had some fun doing these categories. Um, okay, Foxley. F-O-X-L-E-Y. Obviously a lot like Loxley, but I think Foxley is really cool and I'm seeing it on a few more lists. And Fox went through a little stage a while ago and it was really popular. Fox and Bear and all those types of names. And I think Foxley adding the L-E-Y ending it makes it a lot more like Finley. Maybe a little bit more wearable. Jago. I absolutely love the name Jago. Santiago. Have you heard that a lot? I've heard that on a lot of name lists lately. Santiago. I think it's really cool. Atticus, really cool literary name, getting a lot more use now. It can be seen as quite posh, these names as well, but this sort of posh boy with a bit of playful edge is really on trend at the moment. Roman, hearing that all the time down at the playgrounds, but I really love it. It's really trendy and really, really works for a modern little boy now. Felix as well is still on a lot of name lists. I think where it's got the X is a little bit more edgy than some of the other more traditional names. Remy, so trendy right now. Lots of little boys and little girls being called Remy. 
think it really really works hudson again a surname as first name that's really popular gives you the nickname sunny silas Silas is on so many name lists, a lovely nature name, that lovely S sound um, is really popular at the moment. I do have some more S sounds coming up. Anders, again, a, a variation of Andrew, getting a lot of traction. Benedict, I've been seeing this quite a lot. It's quite posh again, but I think that we're going for those sort of longer boy names. Nico. I should have put that in the own name list. Nico, I'm hearing on a lot of name lists at the moment. Really, really fun, really trendy, sort of sounds like a uh, nickname name but it's a full name and then the name Jagger I'm saying this on so many name lists as well that sort of edgy surname as first name really really cool traditional but trendy so these are traditional maybe safer choices Gideon I love Arlo Nathaniel Frederick I have a Frederick who now goes by Fred and I think it is super super cool Monty and Ted, I think those make a great subset, subset, sibling set. Anderson, so we had Anders just now, but Anderson is actually quite trendy at the moment and quite popular. Fergus, what do we think of Fergus? I feel like it's a Marmite name, but a lot of people absolutely love the name Fergus. I see it on a lot of lists. And Percy, similar vibe, but it gets sort of, you know, mixed feelings. Where are you with Percy? Franklin, been around for a little while, adding the Lynn on the end of just Frank gives it a bit more kind of grandeur, a bit more trendy. Nature names, really popular as always. There's some nature names for boys that I love. The name River, it's our fastest rising gender neutral name for boys and girls. Really, really popular going right the way through the charts at the moment. Asher, a tree name, endlessly popular, always sounds good. Ash always sounds good. Ochre, it's about O-K-R-E. I always have to check that one. Ochre. I think it is really lovely. I think you'd have to spell it a lot, but it is worth it. Orson, meaning baby bear. Oakley. These are all O names as well. Love them. Uh, Woodrow. So I had Elwood earlier. Would you prefer Edward or Woodrow? I'm then leaning towards Woodrow today. And Caspian after the Caspian Sea. So some great places to go with nature names. You can go all over the place and they're all really evocative and really playful because you think about being outdoors. You think about quality family time when you're thinking about um, nature names. So they're really lovely. Ending in S, this is a big trend at the moment to end our boy names or girl names with the S at the end to add a bit more to it. So if you think about river, but you do rivers, with the S instead. It sounds a little bit more, ooh, Rivers, who's he? <laughs> um, Barnabas, again, rather than Barnaby, adding the S at the end, Brooks. I've always had the name Brooke, but I love Brooks. I think it sounds so good. Hayes is really popular at the moment, H-A-Y-E-S, that's getting some use. How about Francis? So this is a gender neutral name, but it's more traditionally being known for girls lately, but I love it. Cassius is up there. Augustus, again, adding the S on the end, changes it up a lot. Tobias is a name I love. I always think it sounds really dead trendy rather than just Toby. Phineas, again, rather than just Finn, this is a P-H-I-N-E-A-S, Phineas, um, on a lot of name is quite traditional. Jarvis, a great surname as first name. Emrys, really, really lovely. Willis, what do you think about that? Willis rather than William. Could be a little bit more trendy if you're sort of in that thing where one of you wants traditional, one of you wants modern. Willis could work really, really well. And Idris, I love. And I keep seeing the name Collins on so many name lists. It's not over in the UK just yet, but I couldn't miss it off. And last up, I have high scrabble letters. So with Z's, X's in. So I have Onyx, which ends in the X, which I love. It's a natural mineral name. Lennox, and this gets a lot of love. So you could have Lenny then as the more traditional nickname, but he's Lennox, or even Knox as a nickname, which I think is really, really cool. Ezekiel, another Hebrew gem. So if Ezra's sort of been pinched, you could jump onto Ezekiel instead. And I think it is so much trendy. I love the length of it. It hits a lot of all these trends I just talked about. And then the name Ziggy to end with. I don't know how many I did. I've written down that I had 114 on that list, but maybe just over 100. So I hope you enjoyed a bit of a different quick fire round today for our boy names. Let me know which you list and let me know below the most unusual boy name you've ever heard. Maybe I can make that into a whole list on its own. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're naming a baby. I've got your back. I love baby names. I research them all the time and I will be back with a lot more baby name lists. Bye guys.